Hi boys, thought I'd just make a quick video about um, 6.4 and the desert landforms. How uh, all the landforms and deserts form. You think there wouldn't be a lot of erosion in a desert area, but there's actually a huge amount. <coughs> okay. People think deserts are just sand dunes, but that's only one of the landform features you find in deserts, so there's lots of others. Um, of course, there's such extreme temperatures, especially, there's a whole lot of weathering because the rocks expand and contract, and water gets in the cracks and um, splits the rocks because the water freezes at night. It's called ice wedging. And, um, some of you heard about that when we were in the Blue Mountains and in class and it's um, of course the ice when it, with the water when it freezes when it forms ice it expands so it keeps wedging down into the rock and it freezes and thaws and it freezes and thaws and it just the a little bit of water goes down in the crack and it keeps splitting it open and it, eventually the rocks can you know, fall off the face of a cliff. Um, so there's a lot of that. It's also a huge, um, huge amount of big thunderstorms that occur in, in a lot of hot deserts because there's such hot air. But that if there's that if there's actually going to be any precipitation, it can be a huge storm, and that's when you get a whole lot of erosion. So the weathered rock gets eroded away. By, by the water and also wind. There's a lot of wind um, that can um, move material. Speed in, you know, in the desert area, there's not much vegetation to hold the, um, the soil together, so it just tends to either wash away or um, get blown away. Um, okay, there's also certain types of um, material that get weathered and eroded away really easily like um, limestone so it depends on what sort of material the softer material is going to get eroded and weathered really easily and the harder stuff tends to stay behind so um, all that material is carried along will eventually get deposited tells you here this is how you find out about things you know that just mouse put the uh, cursor over it and it'll tell you what what the definition is for each of them or you can click on it and you can see it a bit easier it's pretty good and there's the weathering break down of bare rocks by water and temperature change it's a bit more to it than that okay some of the landforms you can go through all these i'm going to give you a form too and there's some videos for you to watch on this which are pretty good so these are all the things that you'll be needing to look at when you're doing the lesson. And it tells you all the different things that are uh, part of the landforms of the desert and how they form. So you look at those and there's, you know, there's an example of um, what are called butts and mesas. Butts are the smaller ones, narrow. Mesas, a bit, uh, that's Monument Valley which is pretty famous. And it's also big plateaus, and all you're seeing there is where there was hard rock. Everything else has been weathered and eroded away, and that's all that's left. So there's a huge amount of weathering and erosion. And there's your questions for you to do later on. Okay, boys, just a quick one. I was just showing you how to go about it. Okay, see you later.